Welcome to the e-learning session, Basic Workflow of an LFA Measurement. Further details about sample preparation, measurement and evaluation are covered in the additional e-learning modules on this website. Prior to an LFA test, the detector must be prepared. The semiconductor must be cooled down with liquid nitrogen. Then the sample must be prepared. A standard sample for an LFA measurement is 12.7 mm in diameter and a few mm in thickness. The thickness is one of the most important parameters and should be determined very precisely and on several positions of the sample. Afterwards, a graphite coating is applied on the sample. This is necessary for most samples to make them opaque or to enhance the emission and absorption properties of the surfaces. After the first side is dried, the graphite coating is also applied to the other side of the sample. The drying process is shown accelerated in the video. Once the coating is dry, the sample can be installed in the sample holder and then in the furnace of the instrument. For low temperature LFAs, it is common to have a furnace capable of handling several samples. For high temperature measurements, the system is slightly larger. The furnace is only capable of handling one sample to ensure a good temperature profile also at highest temperatures. To perform an LFA test, a new measurement must be defined. There is a wide range of different sample holders that can be selected for the furnace, from very special ones, such as for liquids or foils, to quadruple sample holders. With the quadruple sample holder, up to 16 samples can be measured simultaneously. Here, the single sample to be tested is 12.7 mm in diameter. By means of drag and drop, the sample holder can be selected for the appropriate furnace position. In the sample definition, the name and the thickness of the sample must be entered. All other properties like density and specific heat capacity can also be added later in the analysis. In the last step, the temperature program is defined. In this case, the measurement starts at room temperature and ends at 500 degrees Celsius with 100 Kelvin steps in between. The distinct temperature program is generated automatically. Additional information like number of shots and the purge gas can be modified here. After that, the measurement definition is complete and the LFA test can be started. The complete measurement is performed automatically. The measurement is accelerated shown in this video.
only after the program temperature step and stability is reached, a shot is triggered. If the first shot is not ideal in duration or gain, the software automatically optimizes the parameters and repeats the shot. Only good shots are stored. The detector signal and calculated thermal diffusivity of each shot is visible in real time in the measurement software. The analysis software evaluates the measurement automatically. After loading the measurement, the thermal diffusivity versus temperature is immediately depicted. For each shot, the detector signal with corresponding fit is visible. If data for specific heat capacity and density of the sample is available, the thermal conductivity is calculated and illustrated by just one click. In this case, the blue symbols represent the thermal conductivity and the black ones the thermal diffusivity. For export of the data, different formats are available. Thank you for joining this e-learning session.